All right, Little Walter's Mellow Down Easy. This was written by Willie Dixon, Uncle Willie. I don't have the date on this one. I think it was recorded in 54, maybe released in 55, or maybe later the year 54. I can't recall. You can definitely check that on Google. Little Walter's playing a D harmonica in second position. This was the tune that I first bent a note. I think I might have been able to bend the four draw pretty weak, just get a scooping sort of bend, but the first time I really hammered in a bend for musical purposes to hit the note I needed was a relatively simple intro he's doing here. There's a little bit of bending, which again is great to practice if you're a beginner bender because the bends are right to the bottom and it's quick going back and forth from the one draw. When I first started playing this tune, I was puckering the one. When I play it now, I will tongue switch the one, moving my tongue to the right side of my mouth, playing the one hole out of the left corner of my mouth. So let's talk about that first lick he does right here. All right, so we got... There's the tab for that, man. Pretty simple stuff. Next phrase, he repeats this same thing three times. It's very similar to the first thing I just showed you. Repeats it three times. when I was starting playing, I would do anything I could, man, to just get my harmonica to make any of the same sounds as these guys that I wanted to sound like. And when I did, like this, for example, when I, when I was able to play those first two notes, and I was like, yes, man, that's all I've been working for is just to get anything to match those my ear to what I was hearing. And when I did, it was very exciting. Another great tip, I don't know if this will work for anyone else, but I remember the two draw, I had a lot of trouble playing the two draw when I first started. I plugged my nose. I went, and for some reason it gave me, whether I was breathing too much through my nose as I was playing, like, and it was giving me really weak tone. I couldn't even get a sound out of the note though. Like, I've I read so many, whatever articles, forums, videos saying it's not the harmonica, it's you, and I was like, man, I was so convinced it was the harp, but it wasn't. It was me. I held my nose. For some reason that gave me the two draw. I am playing everything I just played. Completely tongue blocked, like I said, I'm moving my tongue over. I get asked almost on the daily what players, Little Walter among others, what embouchure they were using. As far as Little Walter goes, I didn't know the guy. I can't say for certain. If you're asking me, I think Little Walter tongue blocked pretty much all he played. The only thing I obviously hear him lipping is the diddle diddle stuff. The stuff where you clearly hear the articulations on the roof of his mouth. That's just my honest thoughts, man. I'm not trying to be snarky just because I tongue blocked, little Walter tongue blocked. He definitely took his tongue off the heart more than I do. In, you know, his boogies, like fast boogie, then there's four or three or four alternate takes. There's last boogie, boogie, off the wall, the alternate take to off the wall. Don't have to hunt no more. The, the tunes where he uses that... <laughs> That sort of thing in the intro, you hear them do this big band breakdown where they come in. Those are very obvious examples of Little Walter taking his tongue off the harmonica. Sometimes you hear that. You can't really get that articulation on the roof of your mouth while your tongue is on the comb. You will hear him play. That's my tongue on the harmonica, so I can't get as clear as an articulation as I could when I was lipping it. There's an example of why learning both embouchures is important. From what I have gathered, from who I consider to be the greatest teachers of blues harmonica on the planet, David Barrett, Joe Felisco, they both will teach you tongue blocking as your primary embouchure and incorporate lip pursing as it's necessary for, for techniques like the diddle diddle effect. Two players that can absolutely fake it to me, I cannot tell the difference. Adam Gusso, Jason Ritchie. Those, I have seen videos. Adam Gusso is playing a B-flat harmonica in my face, this close, and he's playing the two draw, and he's telling me it's lip pursed, and I'm hearing tongue blocking. I don't know how they do it. Jason Ritchie, man, in his interview on, that, on, on David's website, he talks about how he didn't know about tongue blocking single notes for the longest time, and 
you got to think, like, how is he faking it so well? So it can be done. To my ears, anyways, it can be faked. Those two guys in particular, I can't tell the difference when Adam tries to, tongue, to, to fake the tongue block. He does tongue block quite a bit. He, he absolutely tongue blocks the entire harmonica quite a bit. I hear that too. But I cannot dis distinguish the two-draw tongue block to the two-draw lip burst when he tries to fake it. Can't tell you. Here's an example of a song that I believe cannot be done to I won't say it's impossible, but man, this is some speedy lip purse playing. This is Jason Ritchie and New Blood. Album is Blood on the Road. The tune is called Walter's World. Just listen to the articulation on the bent notes and the speed he's moving at on the bottom octave of the harmonica. <laughs> That is amazing playing, man. I, I, my guess is he's lip pursing all of that, and that is some fantastic stuff, man. That, in my opinion, whew, would be much more difficult to tongue block that and get those articulations on the bottom bent notes. Very, very, very great stuff. Jason Ritchie and New Blood, Blood on the Road, Walter's World.